Hi, I'm Jasmine Greenaway, and I'm a cloud advocate at Microsoft. In this video, we're going to take a look at administration in Django by working with permissions. So by default, a super user has permissions to work with models and data and make any changes and modifications to it. But uh, other users like the user type or the staff type don't have these same permissions by default. But a super user can actually grant permissions to staff and users so that they can go ahead and work with specific models and data within the admin site. So like I said, by default, I'm actually logged here and logged in here into the admin site as a staff user. And notice that I don't have any permission to view or edit anything, haven't done anything recently. So this is the default settings. So what I'm actually going to do is go ahead and log out and log in as a super user. So as a super user, you can see the difference here. I have pretty much access to everything, including the recent actions that I took. So what I'm going to do is go into users here and go and grant my staff some additional permissions so that they can make some changes here as well. So what I want to do is allow them to have access to uh, add cruises and to view cruises. So I'm going to go and give them permissions to do that. And now I just need to click Save. And now I'm going to log out and log in as that staff user again. And great. Now they have access to this Cruises site or this Cruises data here as well. So I've granted them the permission and now they can see all the Cruises in here. So you can see that they only have the permission to view the cruise, but not update it. And if I go ahead and click Add Cruise, they have permissions to add cruises as well. So let's just add a test cruise in there just to take a look. And let's we'll click and select a destination. Now we click Save. And now I am able to see my new cruise. So we're gonna log out one more time and take a look at it as a super user. We can see that we granted uh, the super user permissions. And so if I go back here into cruises, I can actually see that my staff user went ahead and added a test cruise. And if I needed to make updates, I could actually do that as a super user. Now keep in mind, you know, the, the staff user wasn't able to do this. They were only able to create because those are the only two specific permissions that I added. Now you could add more. I could have added destination and info requests, but I wanted to really tailor the number of um, pieces of data that the staff really need to access to. And now you can do this with multiple staffs. You can also do this with um, multiple users. It's really up to you on how you want to manage who has access to what. Thank you.